A fundamental concept for math is that any number divided by itself is going to equal the number 1. So for example, 2 divided by 2 is going to equal the number 1. Just like 5 divided by 5 is going to also equal the number 1. Any number divided by itself will equal the number 1. In a similar way, in a similar way, whenever we have a number that includes units, when we divide this number by itself, including the units, we get the number 1. So 1 inch divided by 1 inch is going to equal the number 1. Just like if we had a number of 2 centimeters, and we divide 2 centimeters by 2 centimeters, we'll also get the number 1. Try not to confuse this concept of, a, of dividing a number, including the units by itself, with dividing a number, for example, 6 centimeters, by the number 2. In this case, this won't equal the number 1. This will equal the number 6 divided by 2 centimeters. So in this case, this will equal 3 centimeters. What we did was we rewrote the number 6 over 2 and then included the units on the side. And when we did that, we got the number 3. In this case, we have to include the units of centimeters. Now we're going to use all of these ideas to talk about what happens when you multiply a number by a conversion factor. So as an example, suppose we want to convert 70 inches over to units of centimeters. What we're going to need to do is we're going to need to multiply this number of 70 inches by a conversion factor. Now in this case, we know that 1 inch is exactly equal to 2.54 centimeters. A good way to start thinking about conversion factors is as equalities using the unit relationship of 1 inch is exactly equal to 2.54 centimeters. Before we do this example out, what I'd like to do is show you a similar math problem. So for example, suppose we have the number 6, which I'm going to write as 2 times 3. We can multiply this number by 15 over 15, which I'll write as 15 divided by 3 times 5. 3 times 5 is the number 15. Now one of the first steps that students often overlook when they're first learning this is that we can really write the number 2 times 3 as 2 times 3 over the number 1. Any number divided by the number 1 is going to equal the number itself, in this case 2 times 3. The next way we're going to interpret this is we're really multiplying two fractions now. So for example, there's going to be this fraction 2 times 3 over 1, and we're going to multiply that by this other fraction, 15 divided by 3 times 5. Now before we go any further with this problem, let's just take a look at how we would rewrite this conversion factor. In this case, this will be the number 70 inches divided by the number 1. We can express this 70 inches as a fraction. And then what we can do is put brackets around it to compare the similarities between these two problems. So in this case, we're going to be multiplying a fraction. Now the next step, before we do any more multiplication out, we can cancel out like terms. So in this case, there's a 3 right here, and there's a 3 right here. Since one of the terms is in the numerator and the other is in the denominator, we can cancel out the like terms. So I'm going to cancel out both 3's. Now when we talk about multiplying conversion factors, there's a unit of an inch here, and there's another unit of an inch here. And since there's a unit of an inch in the numerator and a unit of an inch in the denominator, we can cancel those two terms out. The next step when we multiply two fractions is we're going to multiply all the terms in the numerator and then divide by all the terms left in the denominator. And so when we do that, we get the number 2 times the number 15, and then we have to divide it by the terms in the denominator, which in this case will be 1 times 5. Now let's do the same steps for our conversion factor. In this case, we're going to multiply all the terms in the numerator and then divide by all the terms in the denominator. And when we do that, we get 70 times 2.54 centimeters. And then we'll divide by the terms in the denominator. In this case, it's going to be the number 1. 1 times 1 is the number 1. Now let's further simplify this fraction. We can rewrite this as 2 times 15, which will equal the number 30, divided by 1 times 5 will be the number 5. And we can simplify this one more time. 30 divided by 5 is going to equal the number 6. So we can further reduce this fraction. Now in a similar way, 70 times 2.54, we multiply the numbers out, will work out to be 177.8. And what we need to do is include the units of measurement, in this case, the centimeter. And that will be our final answer.